السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا يا شباب النهارده ان شاء الله اخر شابتر هناخده في اناليتيكال كيمستري 1 الجزء الاخراني عباره عن يعني هي محاضره طويله شويه بس انا هقسمها على جزئين البارت بتاعنا اسمه كيميكال كاينتكس او الشابتر اسمه كيميكال كاينتكس و uh, chemical kinetics is an introduction to uh, pharmacokinetics uh, speciality which you will study in details uh, in uh, pharmaceutics uh, in uh, higher levels I think maybe in level 2 or level 3 maybe uh, you will be given uh, the detailed uh, relationship between kinetics and medications or drugs uh, or the science that we call pharmacokinetics. So chemical kinetics will be just an introduction um, with uh, some um, major points that you will need uh, to apply uh, on drugs uh, later in pharmacokinetics. Uh, the definition to chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics is defined as the branch of chemistry which deals with the study of rate of chemical reactions and mechanisms of chemical reactions. So we are, uh, we will be uh, studying um, the rate and the mechanism of chemical reactions and how they are uh, related. Um, uh, studying the rate of chemical reaction and rate law uh, during uh, the course of chemical kinetics is very important for uh, four main reasons. Number one, it shows the time needed for a given amount of the product to be produced. احنا لما بنعمل chemical reaction خصوصا reactions اللي بتبقى يعني ليها هدف تجاري زي مثلا في مصانع الأدوية أو في الشركات أو حتى لو عندنا في المعامل البحثية بعمل رياكشن ومطلوب إن أنا بعمل production لcertain compound وطبعا غالبا certain compound ده بيكون pharmaceutical أو يعني an active drug لما بنعمل رياكشن إحنا محتاجين إن إحنا نعرف الكومباوند دوت أو سيرتن كونسنتريشن منه هنحتاج وقت قد إيه عشان ننتجه لأن الوقت طبعا بيبقى عامل مهم جدا للبروفيت الربح المادي كل ما وفرت وقت كل ما الربح بتاعي زاد أو البينيفيت أو البروفيت زاد Uh, chemical kinetics or studying the rate of chemical reaction shows the amount of product in a given amount of time. The opposite to the first point. Um, in the first point, you are, um, you have a fixed amount or you have known the amount of product needed and you ask for the time. In the second point, it's the opposite. You have the time to be applied or, or to be Uh, allowed for the reaction and you are requesting the amount of product to be produced. Number three, how to control the reaction, to have the upper hand on the reaction. يبقى لينا control على reaction, to enhance the speed of the reaction, to slow down the reaction, uh, um, to give um, um, Uh, explanation about uh, the need for using a catalyst or an enzyme to enhance or to uh, accelerate the chemical uh, reaction. And finally, to give us a guide towards the mechanism of the reaction. If the reaction has more than one mechanism uh, or it has uh, side pathways, or different mechanisms we need to know the rate 
of each of them so that to define which pathway would be preferred, which uh, mechanism would be um, uh, chosen to be uh, uh, applied or accelerated or enhanced in this reaction. يبقى دي points اللي تهمنا في purpose for studying chemical kinetics. يعني إحنا ليه بندرس chemical kinetics؟ ليه بندرس rate of chemical reaction وال mechanisms of chemical reaction عشان ال four points do that. وطبعا احنا يهمونا لما تكون ال points ديت related to drugs. يمكن إحنا السنة دي وإحنا بندرسها أو إحنا بنتكلم فيها دلوقتي حنتكلم على generally chemical reactions أي chemical reaction لكن إحنا طبعا كفارماسيست يهمنا إن إحنا to apply الحاجات دي كلها على الميديكيشنز أو الفارماسيوتيكالز So studying the mechanism of chemical reaction helps us predict the products of similar reactions إن أنا عارف إن certain reaction بيديني برودكت معين وأبقى عارف الميكانيزم بتاعه يبقى أنا لو عندي ميكانيزم تاني أو reaction تاني ولقيته نفس الميكانيزم أقدر expect أو to predict the uh, product that be produced لأنه طبعا هيبقوا الاثنين similar to each other reaction ده بالشكل ده وبيديني الدهايد يبقى reaction ده بالشكل ده بيديني الدهايد reaction ده بالشكل ده بيديني الكهول يبقى similar reaction هيديني الكهول وهكذا Number two, it allows us for better understanding of the reaction. The pathway, زي ما قلنا, the speed, the rate, the solvent, the effect of solvent, the effect of temperature, the effect of pressure. Number three, accurately manipulate the reaction for a desired result. زي ما قلنا, إحنا هيبقى عندنا the upper hand, or we have control on the reaction to push it into a certain pathway. Uh, and push it into a certain product to be produced, to enhance the reaction to produce a certain product uh, to be in higher amount uh, for um, 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 commercial reasons. لأغراض تجارية لأن طبعا الحاجات دي بتفرق جدا أكتر مع الأماكن اللي بتشتغل بهدف الربح أو بتشتغل بتكلفة مادية uh, محتاجة إن هي تغطي التكلفة المادية ديت. Uh, طيب. And finally, organize and simplify the study of chemistry. مجرد ما يبقاش إن أنا بحفظ المعادلة زي ما هي كده. لا أنا كمان يبقى عندي uh, uh, يعني uh, اهتمام أكتر بال بال science of chemistry. لما أبقى عارف ال mechanism of reaction هتبقى ماشي إزاي. أبقى مش مجرد إن أنا بدرس abstract chemistry أو pure chemistry من غير أي uh, applications ليها أو uh, Uh, interesting points of view لـ chemical reactions بتاعتنا. طيب هنبتدي أول حاجة بالـ definition of the rate of a reaction. طبعا when we say rate we uh, understand it's an amount that's related to time. It's something that's related to time factor. So the definition for a rate of a chemical reaction it's the amount of the product or the amount of the reactant Uh, used up per unit of time. يبقى إحنا حنقيس the product form, the amount of product form, or amount of reactant consumed or used up in a unit of time. Uh, هو لو product يبقى the concentration بتاعه by time increase. ولو uh, reactant يبقى the concentration بتاعه by time will decrease. It's the increase. فممكن نقول the rate in another form of definition, or in another way we can define it in a in another way. It's the increase in molar concentration of the product per unit time, or the decrease in molar concentration of reactant per unit time. يبقى the product طبعا كل ما زاد وقت الreaction بيزيد كمية the product اللي بتتكون. فال rate هو the increase in the product form. Where a reactant be ustahlak, it gets consumed or its concentration decreases by time. So rate is the amount of reactant decreasing or consumed up per unit time. The curve that would be plainly. ال definition بتاعنا ال curve دوت ده بتاع ال products تمام كده ال curve الأزرق the blue line here indicates the progress in products and the 
and the red line indicates the progress concerning the reactants. Y-axis is the concentration or the molar concentration to be precise, and the X-axis is the time in seconds. Of course, uh, most of chemical reactions take only seconds to be completed or to be performed. So as we check the red line or the red curve, it starts high at high concentration and decreases by time. So that's how we know it is the reactant. While concerning the blue line, it concerns the product because it starts with zero concentration at zero time, then starts to be increasing in concentration, starts to be uh, formed in a um, larger amount by the effect of time. We can give or we can use another form of definition for the rate of chemical reaction. It's the rate at which a species loses its chemical identity at particular volume per unit time. يبقى هو اللي change في the chemical nature of a compound per volume per unit time. بنثبت الفوليوم بتاعنا ونشوف the change في the chemical characteristics of the compound per unit time. Um, let's stick to the previous uh, uh, definitions. It's uh, increase in products or decrease in reactants per unit time. This is the most precise and the most common definitions to be used for the rate. What is the unit of rate? If we are calculating the rate for chemical reaction, what would be the unit of rate? It's, of course, we know it's amount per time. What is the amount? It's change in concentration by increasing or decreasing. So the unit would be concentration divided by time. And we are dealing with the molar concentration. إحنا حنتعامل بالمولر concentration. طب المولر concentration اللي هو يا إما بنكتب M capital يا إما بنقول مول per liter. يبقى حيكون مول per liter per second يعني مول liter minus one second minus one. So this is the um, accepted unit for rate of chemical reaction because it's change in concentration per time. Uh, concentration will be uh, dealt with in the form of molar concentration or mole per liter. So it's mole per liter per second or mole liter minus one second minus one. If we deal with a chemical reaction, like the reaction of hydrogen with oxygen, both are gases. These are the reactants. To produce water, that is the product. As time goes by during this reaction, the concentration of hydrogen and the concentration of oxygen, the molar concentrations of both are reducing by time while the concentration of produced water is increasing during the reaction progress or, or increasing by time. Let's take another example. Let's deal with another example so that we can understand the concept of reaction rate. The um, gas dawat, ya shabab, our compound dawat, the dinitrogen pentoxide, نقرا كده النومكليتشر بتاعته داي نيتروجين بنتوكسيد ده موليكولر كومباوند بنقراه بعدد الاتومز ذس كومباوند از ذا داي نيتروجين بنتوكسيد تو موليكولز اوف ذس غاز رياكت تو برودوس فور موليكولز اوف نيتروجين دايوكسيد and one molecule of oxygen gas. For this reaction, it could be found by, the rate of this reaction can be found by measuring the increase in molar concentration of oxygen or increase in the molar concentration of nitrogen dioxide. Both are products. So this is the reactant and these are the products. So the rate of such chemical reaction would be equal to the change in oxygen concentration per time 
or change in nitrogen dioxide concentration per time or the change in dinitrogen pentoxide concentration by time. You know the sign delta, the, this triangular sign, it means change in. Okay, so it means that we um, subtract the initial value or the initial concentration minus the final concentration. وحيبقى عندنا التايم هنا حيبقى تشينج يعني برضو حيبقى ديفرنس إن تايم so when we calculate the rate we use the change of time and the change in the concentration of one of the products mostly in this case we use the concentration of oxygen as uh, a variable uh, during the reaction يبقى هنا في الرياكشن ده تحديدا بنتعامل مع الاكسجين باعتباره واحد من الفاريبلز اللي موجودين وبما انه هو برودكت فبيكون الديفرنس عندنا uh, الكونسنتريشن الفاينل بيكون اعلى من الكونسنتريشن الانيشال لان الكونسنتريشن بتاعه بيزيد كل ما وقت الرياكشن زاد تمام يبقى the rate of formation of oxygen the rate of reaction of formation of oxygen is equal to the change in molar concentration of oxygen divided by the change in time or the difference in time. Okay. نتكلم عن الفاكتورز affecting the reaction rate. How the uh, reaction rate is being affected by different factors. First, the physical state or the physical nature of the reactants. الرياكتنس اللي بتتفاعل مع بعضها عشان تديني البرودكتس اختلاف الفيزيكال ستيت او الفيزيكال نيتشر بتاعتهم بتاثر على الريت اوف ذا كيميكال رياكشن حتى لو احنا بنتكلم على نفس الكومباوندز يعني لو اتنين كومباوندز بيتفاعلوا مع بعض وهم اوف ديفرنت نيتشر او اوف ديفرنت فيز يعني مثلا واحد فيهم سوليد وواحد ليكويد التفاعل بينهم هيبقى اونلي اون ذا سيرفيس اوف ذا سوليد فالريت اوف رياكشن هيبقى ابطا من لو الرياكشن هيبقى ما بين هوموجينس فيزز او هوموجينس رياكتنس يعني ايه هوموجينس فيزز او هوموجينس رياكتنس يعني تو ليكويدز اور تو جازز These are homogeneous and reactions in such mixture, mixtures um, uh, are faster reactions. While when they are different in phase or different in state like being a solid and a liquid or solid and a gas, it will react only on the surface so that the rate is reduced. يبقى احنا بنتكلم على ال reactants اللي بتتفاعل مع بعضها لو هما الاثنين من نفس الفيز لو هما الاثنين مثلا liquids او الاثنين gases في الحالة ديت ال rate of reaction هيبقى سريع it would be fast لان هيبقى فيه homogeneity في الميديم ال react الموليكيولز كلها مع بعضها interacting فهيبقى سهل ان ال reaction يتم طبعا ما فيش two solids بيتفاعلوا مع بعض ما ينفعش اقول ان ال reaction عبارة عن سوليدز uh, او انه يبقى هوموجينس ميكتشر اثنين سوليدز بيتفاعلوا مع بعض uh, uh, في حين ان احنا لو شفنا مثلا تو ديفرنت رياكتنس وكل واحد فيهم ليه فيز يعني زي مثلا سوليد وليكويد او ليكويد وجاز في الحاله ديت الريت اوف رياكشن هيبقى uh, اقل من في حاله الهوموجينس فيز Factor number two would be the concentration of the reactants. The concentration of the reactants, the starting concentrations of the reactants. As long as we start with high concentrations of reactants, we can uh, provide that we would have a high rate of chemical reaction because um, the reactant molecules will collide easily. 
or there will be a higher chance for the collisions to take place between the molecules. Number three, the third factor would be temperature. Temperature. Heat. Heat. Of course, we can expect that at higher temperatures, at higher um, uh, temperature uh, uh, mixtures, reactant molecules would have higher energy, higher ki kinetic energy. They would move faster, they would collide more, and, ov and uh, um, often uh, produce greater uh, energy. So that more collisions... This can provide faster rate than at lower temperature. Okay. The fourth factor would be the presence of catalysts. Catalyst يا شباب اللي هي ال ال العوامل الحفازة اللي بتساعد to enhance the rate of a chemical reaction. Catalysts are chemical substances known for their ability to increase the rate of chemical reaction by uh, enhancing uh, the reaction itself, speeding up the reaction itself, um, and changing the mechanism of the reaction, but not being consumed during the course of the reaction. So they are not reagents that are consumed during the reaction. They are not affected. Their concentrations is not are not changed during reaction course. Uh, another factor would be pressure. Pressure affects reactions involving gases. Only in the presence of gases, pressure can affect the rate of chemical reaction. Uh, factor number six would be the solvent, whether the reaction would be performed in aqueous solvent or organic uh, or non-aqueous solvents. These would affect the rate of the chemical reaction performed. And finally, the light. Light affects the rate of chemical reaction of some substances and some reactions and mostly they enhance the reaction pathway and rate.